Mississippi back in the building. My guy, my guy. What's going on, bro? You know, enjoying trucking, you know? Uh, from, from your video, it don't look like you're enjoying anything right now, man. Let's jump right into it, dude. Uh, 57 applications and only two, <laughs> and only two responded. So let's let's back up a little no, bit. No, 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 you got it wrong. No, 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 you got that wrong. Let's let's back. Yeah, you got that wrong. Let. I had fifteen interviews. You, okay. Two only met my requirements. Oh, two only met your requirements. Fifteen interviews yes. out of fifty-seven applications. Yes. Wow. All right, so let's back up a little bit. But let's, nobody let's, want to work though. But wait, 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 wait. Let's back up a little bit. Let's back up because last time we 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 chopped it up. If I'm not mistaken, you you right. were you you were driving for JB Hunt, right? Right, right. Okay, so what happened? What what happened with JB Hunt? I thought you was what? I thought you was contempt with them. Man, don't get me wrong. I don't get me wrong. JB Hunt treated me nice. Don't get me wrong. Hey, talk, but talk, talk I, into the talk, talk into the phone a little bit so I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Uh, still can't hear you. Sound like you got me on speaker. I got it on the uh, headset. Oh, you got me. Are you driving right now? Oh no. Oh, there you I'm go. Stopped. Okay, there you, you go. Now? That yeah, that that's much better. It makes for much better audio. All right, go ahead. What you was about to say? No, don't get me wrong. JB Hunt treated me nice, but the experience I have already had three years before I came to JB Hunt, I need to add on to it because I was going in the flatbed anyway. So JB Hunt gave me an opportunity. They trained me to go to flatbed. So cool, whatever. So I wanted a pay raise to meet the standard pay rate for the like driving flatbed they didn't want to do that wait 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 driving flatbed like, wait 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 Dri flatbed should be given i mean if you if you jumping from from driving and or reefer well i believe they're driving so if you jumping from driving over the flatbed that should be a given raise right there like at least not, at when least I'm driving for JB Hunt when I did it, let me get let me stop. When I drive the day behind, I came in as a flatbed driver. I didn't have no experience. So I the previous I drove uh for other companies that were driving in. But I had the experience of driving a truck. So they gave me the opportunity to drive flatbed and train me. So that's where that came in at. Okay. And so, since okay. I sit there, since I wanted, now granted, I was like, okay, I want to go to JB Hunt and stay for that about a year, and I'm out. I'm going somewhere else, get some, so I can get more money. Right. But I absolutely, not even gonna lie to you, I, I like JB Hunt. That's why I stayed as long as I did. I was like, the atmosphere was wonderful, the, the dispatch was cool. You know, it was wonderful, but the truck is governed at 65 and they didn't pay the industry, the standard rate in the industry right now. What, what do you, what, what do you feel, uh, as a flatbed driver over at JB Hunt, uh, considering the fact that, you know, you get paid for, I'm assuming you get paid for tarpon and stuff like that but what do you feel should be the the standard for flatbed drivers over at jb hunt though to me to be honest with you i can't answer that question because i can only speak for myself all right, all right just like i said jb hunt is the area all right so what what do you feel that you're worth for flatbed driving over at jb hunt Well, if I tell you that, then I tell you how much I'll be making, and I can't really do that. All right, well, but, you well, know, people well, won't be 
What right, ball? Boy. What ballpark? Uh, give give a give a round number because the re the, I'm I'm assuming the reason why you left J B Hunt was for more for more money anyway. So J B Hunt wasn't going to pay you what you wanted or what you worth. So. Give, well, I, give I an will estimate. take that back. They would have paid me. They would have paid me, but I would have had to change positions, if that makes sense. Because J.B. Hunt got the end in everything. Right. So I would have had to literally switch what I was doing. So you would have to jump out of flatbed. So you would have to jump out of flatbed to make the kind of money that you would have wanted in 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 a different division other than flatbed. Yes. But you wanted to stay in flatbed, though. Yes. Okay, so considering so considering that, being that you decided that you wanted to stay in flatbed, they that's when they decided that, oh, okay, well, if you stay in flatbed, then we can only pay you this amount. How much is... How is, is oh, yeah, that's what it felt like. So how much experience... Because I talked to... Uh, how how much experience Go you ahead. got? How much experience you got all together with flatbed now? Uh, almost for uh, going on four years. Okay, okay. That, now that's not a you know that's not a bad compromise. I mean, you got four years of flatbed. You pretty much know what you're doing. You you strapping down. You are tarping. You 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 making sure you're low secure. You haven't had no incidents or anything like that. So. That would be uh, that would be kind of a fair fair deal to ask them. Hey, why not give me a couple of cents more, you know, to keep me here with you guys, versus getting up to leave to go somewhere else just to get some more money. Now, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love working out there. The crew who I work with is awesome. Dispatch is awesome. Everything is just wonderful. But just like I said, it was either it's about the trucks that's governor at sixty five. So I let that people I let people know that oh y'all governor. Yeah, that's true. We're governor at sixty five. True. I was like, fine, can we just I was like, I was willing to talk about eight. Sixty eight is so we can just least pass people. That's going slower. You know what I mean? Okay. So, is it, I wanted a little bit more money. And all of those was no. Because if you, uh, the way I understand it, if you get 2 million miles with the company, they jack it up to 67. Hmm. It ain't oh. a lot of miles. There's got to be a lot of safe miles. You can't have no accidents, no nothing, because one ticket, one anything, it starts over. Wow. Okay, so that's like that's a, the way it was explained to me. So that's like a so that's like a safety bonus. So they 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 pretty much say, okay, well since we since we give you the extra percentage in the safety bonus, then we don't feel that we don't have to give you you know a bump up in your regular cent per mile, pretty much. I, if you look at it from that aspect, probably. But, but the account I was on, we didn't get safety bonuses. Wow. So, yeah. All right, so... We got... <clears throat> so... Now, that was wrong, but they did... We, you can make money at J.B. Hunt. Right. Right. I mean, I, I, I talked to a few people that, you know, that's, that's very happy with, you know, J.B. Hunt. I mean, I only had like a maybe one or two bad experiences with, with drivers uh, that's driving for, uh, for J.B. Hunt. But pretty much, I mean, with all the divisions that J.B. Hunt offer, I mean, they offer dedicated regional tankers, flatbed, uh and um, among other, you know, among others, you know, among others, divisions that they that they offer. I mean, JB Hunt is like one of the top ten dry, uh, companies to drive for, you know, with no issues. 
But <clears throat> but you decided to leave JB Hunt though. I mean, did you let me ask you this, because in, in your video, you know, you you pretty much said that you didn't want to be over the road no more. And that's and that's understandable. I mean, a lot of drivers like myself that started out uh, over the road and did a, and, you know, stayed out for like months, days, times at a time, you know, that 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 become a daunting task. And you want to come home every weekend. So you went to them and be like, look, you know, I, I, I pretty much want to, you know, start coming home on a consistent basis. Was that? Well, I, well if I did that, the, what I wanted was more home time, more pay. Because what I was asking for would have balanced out being at home, if that makes sense. Because the division I was in, I was home every week, every weekend. I live about early Monday morning, home on Friday, late Friday evening. But what I was, what I wanted was run through the run through the house, maybe a few times a week, more. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't get a raise. If that makes sense. That makes plenty of sense. You know, more home time, more pay. Yeah, it, especially you know, going up in experience. I mean, that's you know, that's the level up that 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 you want. Definitely more home time and more pay. So. I I guess you know I guess since you left JB Hunt they they wasn't willing to conform to your demands maybe. Well, if you look at it like that, yeah, I look at it like this. I understand it's a business, it's a corporation. I understand it. They have their set thing, and I have my set ways. That's the way I see it. Okay. And I'm not, I won't bash them because they gave me an opportunity and I thank them for it. And I appreciated the time I did have. It's not a bad company. I Before I went there, I heard a lot of bad stuff about them. They don't pay, they don't do this, they don't do that, they don't. Okay, I take it as a grain of salt. In this industry, you got to take everything with a grain of salt. Right. Because maybe that person got treated bad at that company or maybe they treated the company bad. And therefore, you know, it's, it's, it's a domino effect sometimes. Right. So, I tell you, you got to you gotta do your research. But also, you got to talk to drivers, too. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, you got a lot of drivers, Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So, with uh, with with now your expectations, uh, what you want going forward, you you put in the application, fifty seven applications. Like, like, bro, that's fifty seven. So I ain't been on here in a while. Let's give an update. Let's give a rundown. I was working at JB Hunt, and I'm no longer there. I wanted more home time and more pay. That's what I got. More home time and more pay. I put in 57 applications, and all I keep hearing is, nobody want to work. Nobody want to work. People want to work, but people don't want to work for bullshit wages. Just saying. Because every job I apply for locally and regional, because I don't do OTR, they weren't meeting my requirements. Out of the 57 jobs, only two met my requirements. Two. I did probably 15 interviews. 
but nobody want to work. Obvious, some people want to work. It's people that don't want to pay or pay very minimum. So people want to work. People value their time and they know they worth. No, I don't work for a McGarry anymore. Hey. Just saying. They asked me, what can I do to keep you? And I said, more money. Well, nothing against J.B. Hunt. Treating me nice. But the amount of money I wanted, they did not want to pay. So, treat mega carriers like mega carriers. Go there and get your experience. If you want to stay there, that's fine. I stayed there 19 months. Don't really have nothing to say bad about them other than the trucks are slow. And I wasn't paid what I wanted to be paid. The trucks are governed at 65. I asked about that. Duh, they said the insurance or the fuel. So I'm not mad. Go there, get your experience, and go somewhere else. Just saying. 15 interviews and only two of them match your criteria. That's, that's crazy out of 57, bro. Like what was yeah, I I, out of the 57 uh, applicants or applications that you put in, what was some of the, what, what was some of the conversations? Uh, what they, they rejected you, you rejected them. What, what, what was, what, what was the conversations throughout the, throughout the 57 app, app uh, 57 companies that you applied for? I would say it was more of a 80-20. Mainly, I turned them down, and 20% they turned me down. All right, so... But it was so, more... Go, go ahead. ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It was mostly of... Now, Grant, since I've been driving, I've had two accidents. I had... One with J.B. Hunt and one with Knight. The one with J.B. Hunt was not my fault. But as I was in the accident, because I got hit from behind at a red light. Somehow it's my fault. But, yes. Yeah. I didn't get a ticket, but it went on my record as a preventable accident, I believe. How is that possible if he got but, hit from the back? I, I don't have a clue. That's what one of the uh, recruiters told me at one company. I was like, and I keep a check on my license. I'm like, where do you see that at? He's like, but that's what we consider that is. Okay, so they uh -huh. they they must have saw that. It must not be on your license because a lot of a lot of non preventable accidents normally do go on your license, but. It goes on your right. it, it goes on your DAP report per the company, and oh yeah, yeah it comes it, it goes on your DAP it goes it may not show up on your license, you know because you know there's there's some situations uh, like if you get in an accident in one state, it may not show up on your license because it's from another state, but if they if if they right. do a, if they do a deep dive into that they'll be they they should be able to find it but on your debt report per the company depending on the company who you drive for because a lot of a lot of big companies such as knight jb hunt uh you know us express swift uh they use higher right to you know pretty much put information out there which i kind of think is kind of I think it's kind of, I don't know. As as I it's, as I grow a, as I way to keep the driver. right as I grow with you know as I grow into the industry, I just feel that you know accidents 
non-preventable accidents, like accidents that's not your fault, minor accidents, like if you back into a trailer at a, at a yard or something like that, I, I honestly don't think that really needs to be put on a DAC report. You know what I'm saying? But like, Me either especially, especially if it's one of the company trailers. Man, right. If it's a different company, I, I get it, you right. know. Right. But if it's a company trailer, why are we doing this? <laughs> you say why? <laughs> especially if you're a rookie. You know what I'm saying? If you if you're a little bit seasoned, such as myself, you know you 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 you'll be a little bit more you know focused in what you're doing. But but yeah, man. So two accidents, uh, a, a preventable and a non-preventable. I'm assuming that's that's within a couple of years, yeah. sort of say. Yeah, that's within the year or two. Between 2019 to 2022. Okay, so was yeah. those so was those two accidents within the same year or different years? Oh, different years. Okay, so some companies, yeah. yeah. You know, I thought it was like three, at, at least three accidents within the last no. couple of years. But now oh, I guess I, I no. guess you talk. I guess you talk to companies that's that's looking at the two accidents within the last two years. That's reject that that rejected you. Yeah. OK. No, they, no, they look at it, they like you gotta, you can't have no more than two accidents in three years. Yeah, but these are the same okay. but these are the same companies that's hollering that they need drivers though. Right. We need drivers. Nobody wanna work. We need this no nobody wanna drive trucks no more. You got somebody trying to drive a truck. Mm. They just trying don't. to their life. They they just don't want to give you the opportunity. They, I guess they I, I guess the insurance feel that you're a liability. I guess that's that would be the reason. But of course, these are the same companies as I said before, are hollering about. Well, we need drivers. We want to give you an exuberant amount of you know sign on bonus and this that and the third. But when you apply for them oh, and you and you explain. Oh, you explained this. Hold up for a second. Oh, 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 okay, okay. No, oh, back, oh, back, okay. It, back it up, back it up for a second. <laughs> okay. I had this one company. Speaking of side on bonuses, I had this one company. They was like, "Oh, we're gonna give you fifteen thousand dollars." Okay, you got my attention. How's that gonna be paid out? Oh, the drivers. Drivers only got six months experience. Listen to this. I need for you to listen. Listen to me. They is not going to pay that out like you want them to do it. This company going to they they told me you want to get ten thousand dollars at your twelve month mark. You want to get the remaining five thousand at your eighteen month mark. That is not a sign on bonus at all. That's an over. That's an overtime bonus. And with so, that, and with that said, how are they gonna pay, like when they pay that? When they pay that, like every month, like maybe about three, four hundred dollars a month. It's gonna be. It, it's gonna no, be. No, no, no. That's when you get it. Oh. And no, part, that's when you get it. Oh, it's probably gonna be like when you. It's gonna probably be like when you don't have no miles or you don't have no money, and that bonus come in, and, and you think you're gonna be saving that. But you have to use it because no, no. <laughs> it probably so. I need for all drivers, especially drivers only got six months experience. Once you go to the company, they like, oh, we got final bonus. Ask them how do they pay it out. Oh yeah, that, that is that's, the number yeah. one question. To ask yeah, yeah, them. yeah. That's always the number one question when you when you when when sign on bonuses is is is, is brought up is. It's definitely how it's paid out. I, you know, again, I, I worked it for J, uh, not J, but uh, U.S. Express, and it wasn't a sign-on bonus. It was a, a, 
uh, a what's your name, you know, to pay me back for my for my for my tuition, my tuition reimbursement. And the way they was paying me back on that was like hundred and fifty dollars a month. You know, so exactly. yeah, that 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 part right there. So I'm like, yeah, OK, that's going to you know, I'm, I'm looking at what, three years, three, four years to get the entire five thousand dollars back. Right. OK. Mm-hmm. OK. So. So you say 80 percent. uh, You turned down like why why you turned down the 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 80 percent what 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 was going on with that because a lot of companies still to this day they won't just stay out for two to three weeks and uh four weeks six weeks and stuff like that i'm not doing that that's not happening i stay out a week i can do that but as far as staying out two to three weeks and all that, no, I ain't doing that. If I can't make the money every week, I, I'm not going to make that much money even more staying out two, three weeks. Well, you know, some drivers, people. Well, you, you know, some driver, you know, some drivers will turn around and be like, well, you ain't going to make no money if you don't stay out weeks at a time. But sometimes it's not. It's it's not about the money, right? I mean, you can make you can make about fifteen you can make about fifteen sixteen take home for you know for a week out, depending on who you go with. But let me ask you this, Mississippi. Let me ask you this. I, the eighty percent of the companies that you know that you that that you turned down, did you try looking? Try, did you try looking uh, at 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 where you at specifically like i'm from ohio i'm from cleveland ohio and i know if i if i only want to do regional i i look towards companies that's in my state like you know i got you know i drive for this company that's out of ohio that's not too far you know i say maybe about an hour away from my house i i come in monday stay out for a week come back in friday and i'm off friday and saturday in Sunday or I come in yeah, Friday I, I off Saturday and Sunday. So have you looked towards any companies that's, you know, that's relatively in your state that you can do regional? Yes, I did. How did that work out? And I actually found one. I actually found one. That's one of the two opera requirements. They're, they're based on Texas, but they got a terminal in dispatching and all that in Oklahoma. So Oklahoma? That that yes. Bro, how is that uh, Oklahoma is a far cry from Mississippi, bro. I know. I'm from Mississippi. I still rep Mississippi. Oh wait. Oh, okay. But so, oh, oh, but you stay in Oklahoma. You stay in. Oh, okay. Okay. My fault. My fault. I'm. I'm thinking you still from Mississippi. Yes, yeah, yeah, I don't live in that. My bad. My bad. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I look. I look local and I look regional because, like I said in my TikTok, I don't do OTR. That's not happening. So I looked in there, and a lot of local companies only. Offering like between fourteen to nineteen dollars an hour. I was like, "Excuse me, we 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 um, not we we not running we not running cent per mile, bro. Nine nineteen dollars and you know a lot of companies is switching over to that, and I don't understand. Like nineteen dollars an hour. Well, you get paid for everything. You get paid for being. You get paid for getting loaded. You get paid for being in the traffic. You get yeah yeah. Horse donkey. First one is if you're gonna make it like the company I'm with now, I do both. I do uh, local and regional. Okay. And I get paid pretty good. Okay. This is something I put it like this. When I when I was looking to get paid, I can put it like this. I was looking between twenty five and thirty dollars an hour. There you go. Okay, that. So that's when I said that, it plus over, plus overtime. I started. 
No, when I started, when I started, um, it got to a point when I started talking to people, I started, I just come out the gate talking about, this is how much I want to get paid. They right. looked at, oh, we can do that. But the conversation over with. I wasn't trying to be cocky. I wasn't trying to be arrogant, but I was not about to waste my time anymore. Right. That, especially that after you t- especially after you uh, tell them how much you inspect, and if they can't match it or if they can't match it or they can't offer it, then, yeah, the conversation should be closed. Because I, I talked to a company. It's a, uh, it's, it's a big company. It's a... Um, Swift? I've got something. No, oh God, no. <laughs> Me and Swift you know, you know, you, 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 you know Swift. Tell. You know Swift is offering seventy cent a mile now. You know that, right? Do you not know Swift is still entangled with Knight, and me and Knight don't get along. So why oh, would I go to Swift? Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, that. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> All right, so Come the, on now. <laughs> all right, so the company that you that you driving for now, uh, the company that I'm 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 taking it. You're you are driving for a company now, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's one of the companies that pretty much met your requirement. Requirement. Uh, that met your requirement, and it sounds as though you're doing pretty good with them, right? I made this week. I will run a little over two thousand miles, and you'll take. And home? I will bring. I'll take home sixteen. Oh wait, is that net take home or gross? I'm looking at gross. Oh, okay. So your no, net, 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 your net, no, I'm looking your, at net. yeah, your net take home will be about yeah. sixteen. That's that ain't bad. Yeah, that ain't bad for for two thousand miles. A little over two thousand miles. That's, yeah, that's not bad, bro. That's not bad. Yeah, good, good, yeah that's not that's bad. Like Ninety days, month. That's, that's not, not bad. But basically, but basically, back to it though. There's. But back to it, you know, like you said before, there are companies that's looking that's that's looking for drivers, but they just not giving no drivers no opportunities to 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 at least come on to show them what they can do for them. But these are the same companies that over here saying that we need drivers, we need drivers, we you know this that and the third. But they saying that there there's nobody out here that's 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 that want to work. Right. Nobody want to work. We need 80,000 drivers. First of all, the United States do not need 80,000 drivers. I'm just I'm just saying because it's nowhere to park. It's on a Saturday right now, and it's probably middle of the day on a Saturday. It's only got about 20 open spots, and this is a big uh, pilot. So I'm like, we don't need 80,000 drivers. We need companies to pay. Mm, Give us more money and and give us more home time. Now, if you want to run for months at a time, let that be your choice, not the company. Because I I told one driver, you need to get out of this truck at least once a week. At least. You need to step away from the at least you know you got to get uh you 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 got to get your 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 reset i mean i there was a there's a girl on instagram uh you know she's a little owner operator and all like that and she says that you know driving regional driving local is ghetto you know she she wants to be out over the road Let me be and, and all like that you know and i'm over here like I'm over here like ghetto, like, you know, some people want to be home every day. Some people want to be home on the weekend. I don't want to be in this. I don't want to be cooped up in this, 
in his truck. I did that when I was your a rookie, truck? and your I only Dalton? did. Yeah, I, I did that when I was rookie. And the only reason why I did that as a rookie, just to get my experience. But now, seven years later, yeah, I want to go home every week. I want to reset. I don't want to. I don't want to be cooped up in this truck months at a time no more. Let me be ghetto. Let me be ghetto. That's go, fine. I can ahead. deal with that. Let me be ghetto. You say let you be ghetto. <laughs> I'm going home. Let me be ghetto. Say you say let you be ghetto. <laughs> let me be ghetto. We ain't playing these games. You say we ain't playing I'm, these games. Because I don't understand. They sit there, they give this big dream of oh, you stay out this long, you can make even this amount of money. No, you can't. Stop stop lying to these people. That's what's wrong with the industry right now. All trucking companies lie. Simple. All of them lie. So you have to weed through the lie of what trucking companies do. Because for that person to sit there and say, oh, going home every day or being um, regional is ghetto, that means she was, no offense to the lady because I don't know the lady, but she was indoctrinated of, oh, I need to, you need to stay out months at a time to make money. No, you don't. But I, you know, I, I just, you know, I just tend, I, I, I just put that as she likes driving. I mean, that's what I look, that, that's how I look I at it. I like driving too. Don't get me wrong, I like driving too, but I like it being at home even more. You say you like being home even more? Yeah. Yo. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> <laughs> like I love driving. Don't get me wrong. I got when I walked out that factory that last day. I remember no, I was doing security. I walked out there. I was like, I want to drive a truck. They was like, Good luck. I said, Don't worry, I won't be back. <laughs> you said you won't be back. <laughs> yeah, I won't All be right. back. I don't know, yeah. All right, Mississippi man. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming on, brother man. I really do appreciate you. Uh chopping it back up with the lockout men, man. And I'm glad that everything worked out for you. I, I, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm still flabbergasted. 57 companies, 15 but interviews, nobody want to work. 15 interviews and only two only came down to, uh, to your criteria. I mean, that's some, been, to be honest with you, that's, that's not, I mean, 57 is a big, extensive but i mean you i mean you really you know did your research and kind of like chopped it down to to the two and to the one that you at right now so that's you know that's cool i mean that's cool and all you know what i'm saying but wow 57 but you said 80 percent of the companies kind of kind of you you let it they let it you go 80 percent of the time and the other 20 was that you let it them go Bro, what the? F no, it was eighty percent. I let them go, mm -hmm. and I was like, "No, or no, I'm not dealing with that." And twenty percent was they let. They was like, "No, we're not going to be a good fit." I even looked at the Walmart. No, well, I even went to. I tried Walmart too. I because this is what I was raised. I was raised on the worst they can say is no. Right. So that's why I put in so many interviews. Because the worst they can do, I've been done, I've been so many applications, because the worst they can say is no. All right. That's and Walmart's what's up. like, no, you have to, you have too many. So I was like, okay, that's Next. fine. <laughs> the worst you can do is say no. All right. <laughs> Guys, you know the best conversation starts over here at the Lockout Man Podcast Show. You know, if you guys want to come on and chop it up with the Lockout Man, y'all know what to do. 216-600-2090. Thank you very much to my man, Mississippi M I Crickletta, Crickletta I, Crickletta, Crickletta I, Hump Bat, Hump Bat I in the building. Thank you very much, bro. I really yeah, do appreciate it. Uh, you stay safe out there, my man. And uh, congratulations yes, sir, with too, the man. yeah, congratulations with the new company. And on that note, everybody. And on that note, we're going and we're out of here. Feel there's something in the air.
tonight Got a feeling coming over me I swear that this is that place to be in the water yeah. 